Emma, what is holistic life coaching all about? Okay, well, holistic life coaching is uh, where we cover the mind, the body and the spirit. Mm -hmm. So, for example, um, a client will come in for um, a discovery session and what we'll do at the beginning is we'll look at each and every area um, of their life, ranging from health to wealth uh, to family and friends, uh, physical environment, uh, significant other, um, personal development, spiritual development. Most people that come for healing are under some kind of stress mm -hmm. and they may walk in and say, I'm stressed or I'm fatigued, mm -hmm. but they don't really know why. why. So we start with a logical place and we basically look at the areas of the person's life which are very fulfilled and mm. they're very happy with mm. and the areas which need some more attention. Right. So that would be the mind part. Now, mm. when we look at the other section of the body, uh, the other part of holistic coaching, mm. it's also the healing. Mm -hmm. So um, a lot of people have emotional things that are not quite in balance. Mm -hmm. They may not know exactly what it is. They may feel like they're in a rut in their life or they somehow just can't move forwards. Um, or they may be very aware that they would like to tame their anger or get rid of jealousy issues. Or they may actually have serious illnesses. Mm. Um, so with holistic coaching, we basically at the beginning look at where you're at, why you're here, because every client has a different reason and then tailor make our programs based on the client's needs and wants. And if they're lost, then obviously we help them to discover what is the best path of healing for them. So how do you know at any point in your life that you need to go through something like this? Okay, well, if we catch it soon, it would normally be an, a, a feeling of um, imbalance of some kind. Mm -hmm. And often in life, we try to pretend that that imbalance isn't there. So we can say, how are you? Oh, I'm fine, I'm fine. And yeah. but really underneath that, there's a lot of things that are building up. Now, if you can check in with yourself and connect with that feeling, and you take the responsibility to then go forwards and actually find somebody that can help you through this patch in your life, mm -hmm. that's the best place to start. Um, so we do have a lot of people coming for that. But on the other hand, we do have people where who come where disease or illness has already manifested. Right. And their body has basically shut down or presented something to them which they need to look at. So it's very hard to say, but we say to people, look at this as a gift, mm -hmm. a gift to get you back into balance. Because any imbalance, once we take the responsibility and get it back into balance, then the, the freedom and the, the, the optimal health can be you know, reoccurred in their lives. A lot of people are skeptical about going for a holistic healing. What would you like to tell them? If you're really skeptical, I would say wait until your journey presents itself okay. and you feel called to do something. Unless you're really bothered about an area or an element of your life, sometimes it's a fear of taking responsibility, so they'd rather remain skeptical. Mm. Um, other times we've had clients where a, a husband or a, a friend has recommended the person come for healing. And if they actually come to the healing center and have a session, that's all they need to do. Even if they don't believe, they can just lie on the couch and we will go through either a journey session with them, a reconnective session with them, a Reiki session with them, whatever it is that they need. And even if their mind is working overtime, the physical body will still receive the healing that the soul is ready for. Wow, that's powerful. What are the things that people can do on a daily basis to have a very balanced, fulfilling life with all that is happening to us externally? Mm, very good question. On a daily basis, gratitude is one of the gifts in life. We should always be thankful for the very small things like having this conversation, being in this wonderful place, having a glass of water, um, and also connecting to what you're passionate about in your life, whether that be a walk in nature or whether you're lucky enough and it's your actual job and then your job doesn't feel like a job, it just feels like a passion. Mm. Um, for those that say, I don't know what my passion is, we can help you discover that. Um, and if you wanted to try yourself, what you could do is actually spend 10 minutes a day in silence. So just connecting with yourself. And of course, the mind at the beginning will, will keep buzzing and keep moving around. But if you give yourself the opportunity and the space to sit in silence, maybe with relaxing music, uh, maybe in a form of meditation, of course, which we can advise. Then you give your, your spiritual body the access point to enter into its own intuitive zone. Mm -hmm. Because really, all of our answers are within, but we, most, a lot of us, a lot of the time, are always chasing the ace and looking for the next high or the next thing, yeah. instead of giving ourselves the space to just 
cool down and listen to that inner voice? Um, as you said, you ac actually can be helpful to all age groups, from kids to adults. So, and you have a lot of children coming to you That's too. Right. And I feel at that point in time, um, we really need to give that attention to kids when, if there are some imbalances they're going through. Yes, I mean, we're really welcoming children. There's a lot of exam stress. Mm. There's a lot of um, disorders with food. So we do a lot of emotional eating um, consultations with children. And, and help them learn how to really love themselves from the essence of the soul and the spirit, from the inside. So the outside is still important to look after yourself, but not to be in any way obsessive. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. Last but not the least, one thing they can do right now after watching this interview to just feel good. Oh, brilliant. I would like them to go to the mirror, the first mirror that they can find, which may sound, wow, well, that's the opposite to what we've just been saying. Mm. But to look in the mirror and to look into your own eyes, and come up with five or ten things, the, the more the better, that you love about yourself. So I am a great mother. Yeah. I am a, an awesome life coach. What could you tell me about yourself? Oh my God, so many. I have more than 20 that I, things that I love about myself. Fantastic. <laughs> so for the listeners, yeah. even if they find they can start with one, two or three, mm -hmm. and to add to that daily, now I just want to explain the reason for that is that when we speak truth into the vibrational energy of the universe and we look into our own eyes, truth is reflected back and our vibrational energy in the aura then receives that truth and we become more alive and we feel more connected, more happy with ourselves and also the people surrounding us also feel, feel that um, balance. And when you combine that with gratitude, life just starts to become more rosy really quite effortlessly, but you do need to do it every morning. It's daily commitment that brings the best results. Thank you so much. I think you were amazing, Emma. Thank you for having Thank me. You.